In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of the virtual instruments that come stock with Pro Tools. Let's check them out. So in my Pro Tools main edit window, uh, notice that I am in grid mode for this. I am in bars and beats, and I'm going to get a click track by clicking on the track menu and going to click track. There it is. Remember, no shortcut for that. Next, I'm going to use the shortcut Shift Command N to make new tracks. And I'm going to make stereo tracks this time, instrument tracks. And instead of making uh, one, I'll make, let's say, five. They're all going to be called instrument one, two, three, four, five. That's OK. We'll change it later. Um, remember that my inserts, if I'm not seeing them, I have to reveal them here in the Edit Window View Selector. Same thing with the Instrument column if you would like to see the MIDI routing. Let's start with the instrument we looked at in the previous video. If I go to Plugin Instrument DB33. And remember I have to record arm that and have a MIDI controller connected to play that in real time. Let's try another instrument. I'm going to go to Instrument and choose Mini Grand. Mini Grand is a piano plugin, and this is one of those that the first time you load it, it may or may not find the factory content. If it doesn't, click the Browse button, choose the Mini Grand folder, and then hit Choose. I'm going to record on the track, and it functions just like a piano. No big deal. Remember, if you want to record, you have to press record and then play. And my count off is set for two bars. So here it comes. Whatever, little melody. If I want to do, uh, edit that, I can double click and be in the MIDI editor. If you don't have a MIDI keyboard, you can also compose directly in the MIDI editor, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a later video. For now, I'm going to delete that. And I can double click the names of the tracks to change their names. Organ, I can hit Next, Piano. Now those are pretty straightforward instruments. Let's get into something a little more complex. Let's try vacuum. Vacuum, first of all, is very loud. So as soon as you get it on, you want to go to the main volume knob and turn it down. Then I'm going to record arm it. And this is a monophonic synthesizer plugin. Um, I'm not going to go over every single knob right now. If you want to know what everything does, you can read the vacuum manual, um, look on the internet for different tutorials. It does a lot, and I don't want this video to be like hours long. But basically, you have VTOs, vacuum tube oscillators. Obviously, they don't use real vacuum tubes because it's software. They're emulating it. But you have two oscillators, one and two. And each of these oscillators can be in a different octave. That's pretty cool. Um, and then you can mix the two oscillators here in your mixer. So if I want a little less of VTO2, or a little less of VTO1, I can do that. Uh, the oscillators have different wave shapes, uh, pulse waves, triangle waves, saw tooth waves. And everything in between. It's kind of like a way, almost like a wave table. Um, there is a drive knob to add some odd harmonics, some distortion there. Uh, ring modulation, which is a complicated topic we're not going to get into. There are envelopes, filters, um, something called age, which is unique to uh, vacuum. It's to simulate what happens when you leave a synthesizer laying around in a room for like decades. Um, you get a little pitch drift and something they just call dust. <laughs> and 
and then there's a modulation section um, and and mod wheel and pitch bend if you have that on your MIDI controller. Uh, there is uh, an ARP setting. The important thing to know about vacuum is that number one, it's often used for bass lines or for lead lines in electronic music. Um, number two, it can only play one note at a time. That is, it is monophonic. It cannot play more than one note at a time, and that's by design. Um, you can play around with these knobs. You can also use a preset from the factory preset menu. Let's go to um, Growling Wolf Bass is one of my favorites. It's kind of a cool bass. If I turn this ARP on, it's an arpeggiator and it will ARP based on the rate you set here. So I'm going to play a chord and it will arpeggiate through those four notes. It can change the pattern. It can change the pattern of the ARP right there. So Vacuum is a pretty cool plugin. Again, it's keyboard based. So it's kind of like DB33 and Mini Grand in that way. Uh, another instrument altogether is Expand. Now Expand is a polyphonic synthesizer. You can see it doesn't look like the other ones. It has up to four instruments at a time or four sounds, four slots for sound. And um, you can insert different layers of sound in here, for instance, if I want, let's say, some brass, digital brass. And I want to layer that with some kind of hard lead, like Fistorsha. And I can adjust the levels here if I want a little less of that Fistorsha and more digital brass. I could add something very cool, like I could add a loop in here. And then it gives me a percussion loop. I mean, that's pretty neat. Um, and you could add, I don't know, let's just do vocals. Let's uh, male E high pass pad. So there's a lot you can do with this. Uh, every part corresponds to a set of smart knobs. So this male E, let's turn the other sounds off and concentrate on this male E pad here. Now it's in slot D, so I'm gonna go up here to the D smart knobs and all of these uh, settings will change how it sounds. For instance, uh, if I bring the attack time down, it will come in faster. I can change that filter envelope. So all of these knobs, now these go a little bit beyond the scope of this beginning course. But what I want you to know is that you can change them and you can experiment and it's a great way to learn about sound. Um, this also has an extensive library of presets in the preset category up here. So if we go to, for instance, um, I don't, huge pads, let's go to action pads, trance. Okay, it's just one sound, but it has a lot going on inside it. I go to Smart Knob. Or I could go to um, a huge pad, maybe like Temple Pad, and you can see it has two layers of sound. So Expand gives you a lot of possibilities. There's also an effects section down here. Um, 
let me go to a, a drier sound here. Maybe we'll go to the factory default and I'll change this to some kind of hard lead. There we go. Uh, effect number one, I'll turn it on. It's a hall reverb and I'll crank up the knob for it. Now it's got a lot of reverb. This second one, I'm going to choose maybe a ping pong delay. Turn it on and then crank the knob for it. Now you can hear it ping ponging back and forth. Um, there's another section over here that you can set the transposition or the key range of the sound so that you could have these different sounds mapped across your keyboard. You can set the pitch bend range if you're using pitch bend with a MIDI keyboard uh, or a MIDI controller. Um, my favorite is the ARP setting. Uh, if you similar to what we had on vacuum, the ARP lets you arpeggiate sounds. So I'm going to turn this on. If I choose latch, then I can let go of the MIDI notes and it's still arping. If latch is off, I have to actually be pressing the keys. And similar to vacuum, you can change the rate and the style of um, arpeggiating. So if we do like house piano, there's a lot of crazy things you can do with these settings. So that's a little bit about expand. Uh, let's check out the last one we're going to do in this session or maybe second to last one, is Boom. Boom is simultaneously the simplest and the hardest one to get because it looks, it is a drum machine and it looks like you should be able to program it and play it and record it that way, but you can't. So um, this is Boom. It's an old style 808 style drum machine. And if I hit play, you'll hear the default pattern. This grid with all the notes, you can see the closed hi-hat, the kick, the snare in there. It's locked to the session tempo. If I change the session tempo, it'll speed up instantly. I can also add swing. And now you can hear it's swinging, especially in the hi-hats. I can change drum kits. It gives me just a few to choose from. If I want like an 808 kit, same pattern, just different sounds. I can change patterns here. Um, if I go to the factory default tab, there's a bunch of different patterns. And here's one called close the door originally recorded at 115. It'll still play at 100 though. And maybe I want a retro kit on that. If I want to manipulate the individual drums, I can do it here. Here's the kick, snare, rim, clap, uh, closed and open hi-hats, the toms, ride cymbal and crash. Um, I can change the panning going from left to right. I can, for instance, if I wanted to raise the level of the kick, I could do that, the, the volume level. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting space bar. Let's try fat nine. I could also solo this and just, we're just hearing that kick now. I can change the tuning. And yes, you can automate that if you're hip to that. Um, so there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this plugin. But the weird part about it is that when you go to record, uh, you have to press a note on a MIDI keyboard or draw it into the MIDI editor. So if I just press play and then record and play, it's not doing anything. It's not going to do anything. 
It's just a blank. It didn't do anything. So what you have to do is you have to press a MIDI key on your keyboard that corresponds with that pattern. And I'm holding down a key and there it is. Now this one MIDI note and I'm going to go into my MIDI editor and adjust that slightly. There we go. This one MIDI note contains the entire pattern. So it's not like it, it didn't break it out by drums. It was just one note for this pattern. And if I, if I change what note it is, it's gonna change what pattern it is. Oh, I have that solo still. So, boom's not hard to use, but you have to realize that you need a MIDI note in order to trigger it in your recordings. Um, now that you've seen this kind of tour, I know it's been long, thanks for hanging in. Um, then I'm going to show you how to compose over top of your loop compositions.